Guys, Lakers understood the assignment today. You win today, you secure eight. They did just that. Now, because the Suns beat the T-Wolves, they are the six seed. The Pelicans are the seven. They'll be hosting the 7-8 play and matchup on Tuesday. Time to be determined means the Lakers are remaining in New Orleans. We're going to get to all of that in just a moment. Okay. Obviously, the big storyline coming out of this one, Anthony Davis did not finish the game. Back tightened up with about five minutes to go. But the Lakers had the win pretty much secure at that point. So we'll stay tuned to that over the course of this show. But as for this performance as a whole, it was an impressive one from start to finish. Major, majority of the time, the defense was dominant. The offense was balanced. All five starters in double figures, including three with at least 20 or more, led by LeBron James' 112th career triple-double. Uh -huh. Uh, big game. He finished with 28 and 11, and what I believe set the tone his season high 17 assists. You know, a lot of intensity defensively, uh, active hands, had 12 steals totally. Uh, but, you know, 32 assists, that's, that's where I like the Lakers to be when they're moving that ball, everybody's getting touches, and they're moving from, from the blind side, really getting those baseline cuts. And uh, it was just nice to see LeBron, you know, knowing the importance of this game and how to enroll uh, his team into, you know, getting the job done. Yeah, and we talked pregame about the importance of, you know, not just D'Angelo specifically scoring 19 points, but the importance of D'Angelo, Austin, Torian, Jackson Hayes, like, the, not just the role players, but just the, the cast of characters that the Lakers have assembled this year. Whatever happens from now really rides on their ability LeBron's going to get you 28 and, you know, 10, 12. AD's going to get you 28, 30 um, on a nightly basis. But but can the other guys consistently contribute? And when they are sharing the ball, it gives them their best chance. And uh, this type of game was good to see. It, it, it was almost like a double win it, because it, it, it leaves a taste in the Pelicans' minds that we're having a difficult time beating this team, mm -hmm. and now we got to see them again on Tuesday. Yeah, let's not forget this Laker team won nine out of ten before AD got poked in the eye, and then they lost those two home games out here, and everyone's like, "Oh, what, what's going on here? You know, what, what's happening to this team?" No, they were playing good ball. There, there was a bad, you know, eye poke, and whatever happened after that. This is a team that was playing the way it had been over the last month. The Lakers have to be ecstatic with a lot of things that have happened. And by the way, I want to I want to kind of quash. A little undercurrent that's out there right now, especially on one of my group texts. Someone is saying, well, the Lakers, you know, maybe they should lose the 7 8 game because they don't want to win and play Denver right away in the first round. No, no, you do not mess with the NBA gods. Mm -hmm. And by the way, if they, if they happen to lose Tuesday in, in New Orleans, they'll play the winner of Golden State, Sacramento. We just saw what can happen. Golden State had 26 threes against the Lakers last week. So obviously, the Lakers, you want to keep winning, you want to keep this momentum going. It's not, you know, a, 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 a matchup they're thrilled with to play Denver potentially in that first round. But hey, these are the cards you're dealt, and you want to beat this team. You want to, you want to get into that playoffs. Stamp your ticket, guarantee it, win the game on Tuesday. And hey, the real fun begins on Tuesday, of course. But the health of Anthony Davis is the biggest storyline and is the biggest concern. Big game because we've watched him all season long. He just finished a career high in games played, his 76 game played this season. He's been available for this roster. Uh, and as great as he was offensively, specifically to today, only missed four shots, 13 of 17 for 30 points. His defense is where he obviously leaves his mark. Yeah, there's no question that that's key, regardless of, you know, how many assists we get, how role players play. If without his dominance, uh, his support, uh, it's going to be tough. I expect him to be ready to go in, in this uh, very important start of the uh, playing game. Steve Fisher was a weird play. He kind of spun out of a screen. There was no contact on it. But as soon as he spun out of the, the screen he was setting, started to reach for that back. It was, it was very, very unusual play. Yeah, I thought Stu Lance mentioned during the, the broadcast that he noticed maybe the play or two before that, that there had been something, maybe the way he got hit or... It takes just a little bit of hip alignment to get off, to start to pull on that back some. But, I, I mean, I think with it being the Pelicans specifically on Tuesday, it's not that AD doesn't like New Orleans, does, didn't like, you know, he was yeah. one of the greatest players in franchise history there. I have a feeling he would enjoy <laughs> winning that game on Tuesday night. So I, I think he'll find a way to play somehow. Lakers finished the season 3-1 against the Pelicans. They're 2-4 and four without Anthony Davis this season. But where do you see the mental edge coming off of this performance, going into what's kind of like a mini playoff series? Obviously, when you talk adjustments and having to face the Pelicans yet again in a couple of days. 
Um, you know, I kind of want to talk about the Pelicans. They wanted to win this game. They want nothing to do with the play-in tournament. They were in the driver's seat for the sixth spot. What does that mean? You get a whole week off, maybe, maybe only six days before you play again. They were trying to win this game, you know, and they failed miserably. So obviously a really bad matchup, at least today for them. They got a little more than 48 hours to figure it out because uh, that was not an impressive display by them, particularly on defense. Lakers had 99 points through three quarters. Uh, you know, and the Pelicans were the number six team in, in defensive rating the, the entire regular season. That defense got absolutely punctured and obliterated today. I don't, I don't know what they can do to change things up because there is not a lot of big man help, especially if you take Valanchunas out early. It's going to be a tough matchup for them, assuming AD's healthy and ready to go. Big words there. Obliterate. Puncture. Well done. Syllables. If you're just joining I'm us. Exhausted. If you're just joining us. The Pelicans <laughs> will host the Lakers on Tuesday. Game time is now set 4:30 okay. p.m. Okay.